Hey, welcome to another video, you guys. Um, it is me, Nicole, and um, I'm gonna do a weekend vlog for you guys. Um, hopefully, that's the intention anyway. Um, today is hold on, today is Friday, June 14th, and it is 5:54 p.m. And I am getting ready to do my youngest son's hair. Um, he just recently moved back in town with us from being away for almost a full year. So we're excited to have him back. I just got off of work, so I'm tired. Uh, what I do is sometimes a little mentally straining, sometimes physically straining as well, but... Today it was more on the mental side. Plus, as you guys can tell by the bags under my eyes, I have not gotten any rest over the last few days. I did my hair a couple days ago. Well, no, um, not last night, but the night before last. So I stayed up to about 2.30 in the morning doing that and um, had to wake up at like 5.30 uh, to get ready for work and everything. So I got like three hours of sleep and i was tired all day yesterday came home went straight to bed well straight to laying down on the bed and then i got up did a couple things um around the house and then bridgerton season two or season three part two came out yesterday too so i did my best to stay up and watch that and i stayed up till probably like 11 o'clock or something 11 30 something like that Hence, no sleep. So, um, today I have promised my son that I would do his hair. So, that is what I'm going to do. So, I'm probably going to let you guys see a little bit of that, of me doing his hair. And then when I do my hair next time, I will um, let you guys see me doing that as well. I'm going to set y'all up. So I can show y'all me doing his hair. Um, trying to turn something on to watch real quick. So we can be entertained while we are doing this hair. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of my son, here he comes. Nope. Uh, but anyway. Um, I'll make some, some nachos real quick. Okay. Um, I was also going to um, try to do a little bit of Spanish while I'm uh, doing my hair. Yeah, I don't want to learn it anyway. I don't want to learn it. Yeah, in Japanese. All right. Well, y'all. Yes. What is that about? Anyway, guys, I am going to go. We're going to get set up, figure out what we're going to watch while I do his hair. It's probably going to be like a two or three hour job. And it's almost six o'clock. I hope so. Because the last time we did it, was like, like four. Who was it? Plus, yeah. Actually, it was like six hours once before. Oh, well, Fair. it ain't going to take that long today. Because if we go into doing all that, then I might have to finish it tomorrow. Do you have to work tomorrow? No, I'm on a call. <laughs> okay. But speaking of which, they called me um, earlier today. Um, they called me for uh, three clothes, but not only... You should have went. But... You got to make that cheese. Yeah. You should have said, yep, I'll be right there be right there anyway y'all but i am gonna get set up and i will be back in a moment like i say i'm gonna let y'all see the starting of his hair and um let y'all kind of see how kind of in between and stuff like that and see how long it's gonna take us and i'll probably um maybe i'll just cook it tomorrow i took some chicken out to cook but I'm not going to do that tonight. I don't know who I'm fooling. So I'm going to take a reprieve and go put that in the... Go put that, put some on the list. Um, Y'all, yeah, I'm just talking out of my head. I'm talking out of my head. So, but I'm trying to start back up doing vlogs on this channel. So, yeah. So I see y'all shortly. When I start on his hair.
This is after, you guys. Three hours. What time is it, Corp? Nine. Like nine, mm -hmm. about 9.30. Yeah, 9.26. Mm -hmm. This is after. This is after. It looks really, really good. It's really, really long. So, y'all, I'm going to hit the set. I am tired, so I will see you guys tomorrow. I do have a couple things to do tomorrow. You know, Father's Day is Sunday, so um, I'll see you guys then. Hey guys, so I am back. The last time you saw me was Friday night when I was doing uh, Corbin's hair. I'm sorry I did not come back yesterday. I did some shopping at Publix and Walmart to get prepared for Father's Day because I'm going to be cooking steaks, chicken, um, macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes and gravy, <laughs> um, rice peach cobbler and i'm gonna throw a veggie in there because my husband didn't ask for one and i'm like you didn't ask for not one vegetable so i'm just prepping for that and watching a little um glamazante uh she just dropped a video maybe about an hour ago and i just cleaned up the dishes from breakfast so i just wanted to come on real quick and let you guys know what i was doing i probably vlog the rest of the day and just make this kind of a weekend vlog even though i didn't catch saturday um, and i should have um my husband took oh also i'm gonna be today um looking for a credenza for our dvds yes i still have dvds i love them i'm a big movie girl and uh, music girl so I do love those. Um, and yeah, so just want to come back on real quick. Let you guys know what I was up to. Um, today is Father's Day. Like I just said, uh, 2024. And um, I'll see you guys in a minute. Quiet. And I have so much of my business out there. Like, well, you tell everything else. We need to know this too. <laughs> or like if I go out with somebody, let's say I want to keep it low key. And I don't want to buy nothing. Right. But I do feel like it is something that sometimes can get under my skin a little bit. But I have to check yeah. myself and be like, all right, girl, like, all right, right, right. Bring right, it back. Right. It ain't even that serious. So, well, I feel like so, guys, so I am back. I just came in my room for just a moment so that I could log into my computer. And I'm going to look for a few things for, well, a few ideas for credenzas and things like that, TV stands because I need one for the living room. So I can go ahead and finish up the living room decoration and all of that. King, which is um, still June 16th, Sunday, June 16th at 2.57 now. So I'll probably start cooking in an hour so that I can, the dinner can be ready by the time my husband gets back home from work. And excuse the background, y'all, I am in the middle of trying to sort out things and try to decorate differently. So anyway, talk to y'all on the flip side. I am off today. It is Juneteenth and I'm spending the day trying to get caught up on um, sending out my birthday packages. Don't say anything. Birthday was way back in um, January. I had a party back then. Um, which you guys would have seen if you guys have not please go back and watch that birthday celebration video it was really really fun but now i am spending some time doing the uh, packages and I put, like little trinkets in it um it was a 70s theme so i put little disco ball keychains in it and some mints which lord i hope they're good <laughs> Uh, by the time they get them on there, probably just toss them, but I still put them in there. I also put um, some hard pictures of the party, of all the party guests right here, but the pictures got cut off so everybody wasn't able to be on it. Um, and there's was the next picture. Um, but so I, I, um, what I did was I copied them, just put it on copy paper and printed them out and put these in the gift bag so um they are just those trinkets and then plus a just a black kind of um gift bag so or not it's not a gift bag y'all but it's a mailer 
so I did that put that in there I've got these gold labels uh, or labels that are surrounded by gold and I'm just writing their address on there along with mine and putting those on there and just using some different um, gift card or some get different thank you cards that I'm sending in there these two patterns I bought um, specifically for that but some I think I'm gonna run out so I do have some okay y'all so the post office is not open I hope I got a good shot of it although um, it said it was going to be open it in fact is not open so I'm going to go to a UPS and try to mail it there because I just don't want to hold on it hold on to it any more than I have to any longer than I have to so I'm gonna try somebody's UPS today is Juneteenth so it makes sense um, that it wouldn't be open but on the internet it said it would be open so there's that so I'm gonna try to pray, play Frogger and get across the street safely. And head on over to UPS. We'll see if it is open for me today or not. I will keep you guys posted. Hey guys, so I am at FedEx instead. I'm going to go in here since the post office is closed and see how much you're going to charge me to mail this stuff off. Um, I'm going to take you guys with me. It's kind of awkward to vlog, but I'm going to try not to make it awkward. <laughs> anyway, I'm taking y'all with me, so we'll see. I need one of those wristlet little things, guys, that... Um, I'm put y'all in my purse. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Because I went to the post office, but um, they were closed, even though they said they were open today. Yeah, they closed for Juneteenth. Yeah. We are too, but I know some places aren't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't start till last year. Oh, y'all didn't start till last year mm -mm. either? Okay. Last year was our first year ever taking it off. Taking the Juneteenth off? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you want to ship them out like this or do you want to put them in something? No, just like that. Just like that. Yeah, that's what me and my manager was just talking about. He was like, hopefully next year we take effect too. Mm-hmm. Getting it off. So for one of these, the yeah, least expensive is 18 okay, For one? That's for one. Fifteen dollars? Yeah, I'll take them back. <laughs> Cause I know the post office don't be, be like cheaper, much, yeah, probably. Yeah, I mean, I don't see them being. Like I'm thinking they shouldn't, cause they. I think they go by weight. Yeah, they do. We do as well, but yeah, that's what it was going for. One of them going fifteen dollars. No, no, I'll wait. Right, <laughs> Thank right, you. Yeah. You too. You're welcome. You guys. <laughs> Y'all. They wanted $15 for this. This size package to mail off. 
$15. And I have Sixteen of them to mail off. So what I'm gonna do is wait because the post office, I'm sure, will be able to. I'll be able to mail those off for a dollar or two each. I'm sure of it. That is nuts for this tiny little package. That's crazy. So. Anyway, I'm contemplating now if I should take the other packages to the six people I was going to take them to that are in town or if I need to wait on that project as well. I really was just trying to get rid of the things that were in the office or in my um, house, get rid of some of the things that needed to be um taking care of put out the house all that so honey whew. anyway um i feel like what i'm gonna do now is just wait obviously until the post office opens i can take one of the packages by see how much it is to mail them because i gotta mail them off so i i I got to mail them off, so. And I only have this many to mail, so. But I'm not paying $15 for each one of these to mail off. That's almost $250, almost $300. No way. I would be out of my mind to do that, and my family would think I was crazy, too, so. Not doing that. If anything, I'll keep them until I see them again or something like that. Maybe we'll have a family function or something where I'll see them. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next clip. I'm probably going to just stop by Ross or something, see if I can find a few work outfits. And uh, let that be that. <laughs> I tried. I may also try to stop by UPS, but I don't see them being any cheaper than FedEx, to be honest. Uh, but if I see it, I thought this was FedEx, but it's not. Um, I mean, I thought this was UPS, sorry. But it is FedEx, so... Anyway, yeah, <laughs> I will see you guys in the next clip. I just, I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Comment down below if you guys have shipped any packages re recently. I'll um, try to put the size of it down below. I ordered them from Amazon to ship off the, um, the goodie bag uh, inserts and stuff because I forgot to give them away at my party and I still want them to have them so um yeah oh y'all <laughs> this blew me I was thinking three dollars at the most per package she also said which you know wherever they're going which all are going in Florida so so I just wasn't expecting it to be that expensive so anyway I'm gonna get off the expensive train and I guess just Excuse me, head to Ross and uh, then head back home. <laughs> Start making dinner. Talk to you guys then. Hey guys, so I am back. Um, it is Friday, June 21st, and I have taken the day off um, partly because I need to use my time at work, and then secondly because um, I was hoping that we'd be able to have gender results back for my daughter's um, fourth baby and um, be able to go down to where she is today or tomorrow to do a little celebration, a little gender reveal. So we'll see how it plays out. Um, the email did come to her yesterday, I believe, and she forwarded um, the things over to me um, and also let the group chat know that they were there. So. Um, I've set everything up and just I'll check I check it every now and again just to see if it's showing anything but it's not <laughs> last time in 2022 I don't know if I already told you guys but it took like four days and so if it takes four days this time it'll be Monday so I don't know if like we plan to do something next weekend and we just hold it till then but with them i don't know if they'll let us keep it that long because as soon as i know i'm gonna tell 
his mom so she'll know as well and it'll just be me and her that know um but right now i am finishing up um getting the envelopes sent out like i had talked about um the post office is open today until about 5 30 so i decided that i was gonna i've already kind of cleaned up the kitchen um mopped swept and mopped the floors and now i decided that i'm gonna go ahead and get everything written up get out everything ready and then that way i can just go ahead and um run to the post office see how much everything's gonna cost hopefully it's not an arm and a leg i have about 17 of them to mail and the rest like i said can be hand delivered so that's what i'm going to do and my um, teammates at work they'll get them on monday when i get back those of them that are there so yeah so that is what i'm doing right now um have a bunch of thank you cards and what i did at the um birthday party is i had for them to fill out the envelopes with their names so the envelopes i ordered more envelopes because we ended up throwing the envelopes away which that's one thing i regret about the party is us throwing away the envelopes and the black plates that i bought to make them look like records but anyway i ordered more envelopes got those today or yesterday sorry they're a little bit bigger than the normal ones, but that's okay because the normal ones are these. So they're a little bit bigger, but I don't mind it. It's fine. And I knew they would be a little bit bigger anyway. I just needed some envelopes to use. A vibrations book that I created and I really, really love this. Like what I'm grateful for and, you know, just daily kind of stuff in it that you can write about and then it just it has the afternoon vibrations as well so I have that stuff as well so that is that one and then I just created this one which is this is a publisher's copy but I created my travel checklist and journal because in this one this is for traveling so I used to whenever i got ready to travel i had this list of things the same things over and over again so like q-tips underwear socks all that kind of stuff that i would um i had written down what i used to do is use that list to check off everything that i needed to take with me on the trip so with my travel checklist and journal what i did was just write all of those things down that I usually take with me and then that way every single trip that I go on I don't have to rewrite it I can just check off everything that I need to take with me and then just some notes in here and stuff like that so I think it's pretty cool and then um I have travel notes in here about every single trip so this bit book covers 24 trips and this I created for me, but I know that a lot of different people can use it. So I'm excited to be able to offer it to everybody too. So um, my next two books or three books I decided will be just plain journals that you write in. Um, just plain journals with just pages, 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 pages in them. And then you can just write your thoughts and, you know, or whatever, however you want to use the journal. So that is going to be my next project so i may start on working on that today but yeah that's all i have got going on right now i'm gonna um, put you guys down for a moment so that i can um get to work on finishing up these envelopes so that is done and not hanging over my head i also need to apply for a passport because i plan to go to paris in october and i need to first start with getting a passport because i've never been out of the country so yeah so in my daily high vibrations that's one of those things that you can put in there is like your to-do list for today so i will be doing that as my to-do list for today it is let's see what time it is y'all like 12 19 so this should take me about an hour to finish up and um because i'm writing personal notes and stuff like that in there as well and uh getting those ready to be mailed off so yeah I'm sorry I'm looking like this, but I'm not because this is just natural be Nicole anyway type of deal, you know, and this is just what I look like in the morning. So, um, but anyway, I'll be right back, guys. Hey, guys. So I made it to the post office. It is 93 
degrees outside. I'm about to go in here and see what, um, or how much, look at my hair because I put it up without looking at it. But I'm about to go in here and see how much you're going to charge me for sending off these <clears throat> packages. Hopefully not $15 like that little girl told me at FedEx the other day. But here at the post office. I'm about to go in. I'm probably just going to leave you guys in the bag recording just because, uh, you know, how it goes. But, um, I took my hair out of that bun because, uh-oh, got my dad on me. But I took my hair out of that bun because it, every time I have it on in that bun, it knocks up against the top of the roof of the car. So... So anyway, let me run in here, get in line, see what they're talking about. And I will see you guys in there, or actually walk with you guys in there. Or I'm going to walk with you guys. Good God of mercy. <laughs> my lips, even though I have on lipstick, my lips feel... Chaps. Lord, I pray it's like two dollars per package. Please let it be like two bucks per package, please. That would be so cool. Y'all hate when you do this. Put lipstick all over the dagger. Put I mean capstick. one of these before I try to build off all of them. Please. And they're all going to different places too. And if it doesn't match then I tell you it's up to you it's either way hello beautiful people I am back I am getting ready to start on those journals that I told you that I was going to be doing all right so hey you guys this is where I start the process of building a journal is on canva so i'll if you guys want more because i was just trying to come back to you guys to show y'all what i was going to be working on this afternoon but if you guys want more of an explanation of how that stuff works then definitely let me know down in the comments so i can make a full video about that um but for now i'm just going to be working on um my journal and uh see 
what I can design next. So I will probably pick you guys back up tomorrow, which will be Saturday, June 22nd. Also, I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm awaiting some very wonderful results. Um, my daughter is pregnant again and um she's having her fourth baby so we're um patiently but not <laughs> anticipating what she is having this time we are hoping for a boy praying for just healthy um which so far so good but um we're hoping for a boy this time because she's got three girls already and we just want us a little boy but you know whatever god foresees us having um that is what we're gonna have and we're gonna be fine with it you know but we will know um, as soon as we possibly can know. I'm I'm signed up for the email and for the results and all of that. Or I'm signed up in the portal that provides the results of what she's having. <laughs> so last time we did it, it took about five days for us to get the results back. So if we're waiting five days, then it's going to probably be like Monday before I get the results back. So as soon as I get them, I'll be telling my um, Quay's mom um, to, uh, so she'll know as well. And of course, my husband, if he wants to know. But uh, but yeah, y'all. So I'll see y'all to I'll pick y'all back up tomorrow, and um, we're gonna go do some deliveries tomorrow. The rest of the um, packages that I didn't give out today, which is only a few. But we're gonna stop by some folks houses and leave them some love or just stick it in their mailbox if they're not home and um be done with birthday stuff done 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 <laughs> so anyway see you guys on the flip side my hubby just got home too so i'm gonna see what he's talking about but talk to y'all soon peace hey you guys so i am on the road delivering packages Today is Saturday, June. I'm trying to get the date for y'all. Today is Saturday, June 22nd at 1.05 p.m. And I am going, going, going around to deliver my birthday packages. Um, I don't know. Comment down below, guys, if you think the waiting basically five months. <laughs> To deliver them is crazy or if you guys are down with it um, I don't know I just wanted to thank them um, I did at the party but I definitely wanted to thank them again and just get those trinkets out I bought like 96 of them so I definitely wanted to get them out so I am delivering so I gotta go all around my city literally from one side or corner to the other side or corner so I'm trying to map out how to get to everybody's house the best way, like the ones over here and then the ones um, down towards another small town, then back that way <laughs> and then back um, around to where I am. So it's following directions, even though some of these homes I know, of course, where to get to, but um, I have this on anyway. This is the wrong one. Flip it around and on the other one. Anyway, I am going to pay attention to the road, which I am anyway with you guys, but um, definitely pay attention to the road mm -hmm. and get the safely. And then one piece. But I hope you guys are having a beautiful Saturday. Hey guys, I am back. Um, that was a fun visit. Um, I went to my cousins and dropped off their package. And again, y'all, it's just a little something to let them know that I love them and I thank them for coming. Um, but that was a fun visit. I got to see my cousin and his wife which is my cousin um, and I got to see their daughter and I got to see the baby their son's baby and their daughters the other daughter's baby well he's a big boy um, and I got to meet the son's um, girlfriend 
and so I didn't get to see my cousin uh, the son because he is over visiting my uncle so helping him out so I think that's pretty cool but yeah but I'm glad I'm out and about today because I usually just stay home and don't enjoy any of this vitamin D uh, the sunlight or whatever but it's so pretty out here today okay y'all just left the next house <laughs> didn't look like my friend was home I'm gonna text her a little later and tell her to check her mailbox but unless she had her car in the garage which is possible um, but again I don't want to disturb what they have really going on on Saturdays but um, I stopped by my cousins because it was three cars outside well four cars outside so I definitely wanted to stop in and like I say my friend just didn't look like she was home so the next one is a um, friend from work and her and her husband came to my party so their house looks like to be quicker to get to their house than my aunt's house so I'm gonna go to their house first and then I'll go to my aunt's house hey guys so I didn't stop I just left in the mailbox because um, I didn't see any cars visible really at the traffic so center. now I'm going to my cousin's house and I left my friend's house from work um, and we sat and spent some time together because it's been a little while since we have talked so I did that drop by my aunts put that in the mailbox for her and my cousin and um, now I'm headed over to my other cousin's house to which is on the other side of town near my Exit job the traffic. Okay. so anyway so that was fun catching up with her she has a Rottweiler for a pet and I am scared so I didn't engage but she did bring her out to meet me which was lovely so um yeah so i'm headed i'm gonna pay attention and i'm headed to my cousin's house i'm probably gonna just drop it in her mailbox as well and then i will have a couple of few more packages to deliver probably tomorrow probably i might do them today i don't know just to be done but we'll see anyway talk to you guys later oh um <laughs> it is 9 37 p.m on let's see june sunday oh <laughs> sunday june 23rd 2024 and we got the gender results today um in the gender email for the new baby for my daughter's fourth baby and her boyfriend's third baby so um we are going to just impromptu uh do a gender reveal tonight so i found a little video on youtube that um kind of leads up to let me show you all the video that kind of leads up to it's like a 10 second video hold on trying to brighten this down here we go So it's a cute little video that's going to reveal. And I think they're done after that. We'll see though. So I'll come back. I'm gonna try to get it on video and record it and everything. <laughs> you better pray you got some help over there. Right, so check it out. There's three girls over there. Oh. You feel me? Oh. 
feel me? There's three girls over here already. We got Chiyo, Wayo, and a uh, six months. Yeah, six months. This is getting to, you know what I'm saying? This point. What y'all think this gonna be? What a girl? What a girl? I think it's a girl. Yeah, I, 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 I gotta say, girl. I think it's a girl. Hey, Beezy. I, I, I hope it's a boy. I feel like it's a girl. I got two, well, three, and we gonna just drive it out. You know the one year old right here. Say, hey. Wait, say, hey. Say, hey. hey. Casey. I'm trying to get y'all on the phone and on my camera. I keep freaking fading out. All right, let me know when y'all want me to play it. You, you know? I mean, I do, but I oh. got a feeling it's a girl. Well, y'all drop, drop what y'all think. I think, I think we got, we finna round it out, man. It just go all girls. I ain't, I, yeah, you I, ain't even mad. I ain't mad. I ain't mad. Like I, if that happens, because I kind of want it, but I definitely want a boy for sure. For sure, but I ain't mad. But you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't mad if it's a if it's a girl. If it's a girl, we already got names picked out. We already got names picked out. Name on the like video. Yeah. I, think I know. Oh, okay. Carmen, what's up, my boy? What's up, bro? Yeah, I'm ready for it. Yeah, yeah, she can start. All right. All right, y'all ready? Pay attention. You can't be watching them. Okay, okay we got it. Right, right, Hold right, on. Right. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right. Wait, you got to get up here so I can get the reaction. It's not even up. Yes, yeah, quick. Y'all ready? What? Y'all ready? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it's a cute little video that's going to reveal this. It's all I could come up with at the last minute. So yeah. That is what they're having. That will be their um, fourth daughter. Like 
December the 2nd or December 5th? <laughs> <laughs> I am psychic. Hey, man, you got a bunch of girls swimmers. I am psychic. Oh, she's talking about me. Wait, man, talking about me. Let me tell y'all how I got that back. Don't let us pay in this way. December 3rd. Twenty-two. Nobody in hood. Nobody. Call our kids' names. Start with a K. You look stressed out, baby. You coming back home? Okay. What did she say, Casey? She talking about oh, again. Gotta put it in the chat. All right. I love you so much. Okay. I'll call you in the morning. Right. <laughs> She's in that camera. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> she, wow. she said again. Oh, Lord. Quailing. <laughs> he tried to act like he had been. <laughs> <laughs> he all that blow, that up in the front. Yeah. 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 Who said that? But that's what I'm saying. I just knew we would have a boy. Some would come up. Mama got all boys. Your mama got all boys. One girl. Like, it's just too much boys, bruh. What's happening? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what you said. With too many boys. Time for the girls now. <laugh